7.30am on a September morning at Broughton High School. Our site supervisor has been here since 6 o'clock opening up school in preparation for the coming day. So, welcome to a day in the life of Broughton High School. Welcome to Broughton High School. My name is Chris Morris and I'm privileged to be a head teacher at this successful, joyful, high achieving school. During this short video, we hope to capture a day in the life of Broughton. We want to share with you the typical experiences of a pupil at our school. Here at Broughton, we're fortunate to have talented, committed, highly professional staff, enthusiastic and well-behaved pupils, supportive and appreciative parents and well-resourced modern facilities. We believe we provide a high quality education for all pupils. We have high expectations of all and from all and such aspirations lead to very high standards. This is a wonderful school and it's a pity you've not got the opportunity to come round. However, this short video will give you a flavour of a day in the life of Broughton. Broughton is situated in a pleasant location on the northern outskirts of Preston. Pupils arrive at school for an 8.40 start. Almost 200 pupils cycle to school each day, which is good for the environment, for health and fitness, and for your bank balance. At the present time, our year groups assemble separately before school, here is Year 7. The school day at Broughton consists of five one-hour lessons with a morning break and lunchtime break. Every school day at Broughton begins with a 20-minute form registration period. All year groups share a common format. As well as time with their form tutor, there is one assembly every week, a weekly learning challenge task and times for private reading. Yes, sir. Daisy. Yes, sir. Jacob. At 9 o'clock, school is ready for action. So let's join Year 8 for Lesson 1, a science class which is doing flame tests on metal ions which produce different flame colours under strong heat. One, put your splints into your Bunsen burners. Put them quite high up so we get the different colours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Next door is another Year 8 science group. This one in science we're looking at um, different cells under the microscope. We're looking at sugar right now. We've got sand and all the little greens. So then it looks like crystals. What are you looking at here? We're looking at sugar and it looks like more like ice cubes on this. It looks really cool. <laughs> Let's have a look at the mealworm in real life. Soil, there could be all sorts in there. What can you see? There's like different types of cells, and it looks like furry bits. Cells and furry bits. What are you looking at? A spider. A spider? A, spider. a dead spider. Um, how many legs has a spider? It's got eight. Can you see them all? No. no. Nearby, a year 10 GCSE art class is starting their first project of the year. The art teacher explains. This is their first GCSE project for art design. And what we're doing is we're making an, um, an extraordinary newspaper headdress. The project theme is Ordinary Extraordinary. And then we're going to make a sequence of self-portraits. Early morning is also clearly a good time for some serious Year 11 GCSE maths in two neighbouring classrooms. What are you working out here? The non-linear simultaneous equation. That's very, very complicated, isn't it? 
So we're seeing now on our boards, the slightest mistake even on the first line, because this is such a long solution, knocks everything out of order. So we know, keep the four outside and we're going to square the brackets. Is this equation finished yet? Uh, no. Go on then, carry on, let's see what you're doing. No pressure. We can hear your brain whirring. <laughs> Mr. Morris says that your brain must hurt when you're doing lessons. And you've got to be cutting through the y-axis at five. The y and the x. Cutting through the y-axis at one. It's 10 o'clock in Lesson 2. We join a Year 9 English class which is looking at war poetry. The poem that we're going to be looking at today is by Jessie Pope. So Jessie Pope is writing this poem during World War I and her aim is to encourage men to join the war effort. Now she's very patriotic about her country. What does it mean if you are patriotic? To patriotic Elliot. She loves her country. Why can't she? Go and join the front line. Why can't she go and fight? Go on, Andrew. Just because she's a woman. She's a woman and she wasn't allowed. Hold that thought. And if you're a bit split, maybe split your whiteboard in half. Ich habe Volleyball gespielt. Whatever time of day you visit modern foreign languages at Broughton, there is always a lively and often musical atmosphere. First of all, a year seven German class. Katie Junger and stay out. Okay, die Jungen sehr, sehr laut und gut singen, sehr, sehr schnell. Okay, die Jungen, drei, zwei, eins, los! Was wir hier heute machen, heute machen, heute machen, was wir hier heute machen, sag es mir. Die Jungen, nochmal, sehr, sehr schnell, drei, zwei, eins, los! Was wir hier heute machen, heute machen, heute machen, was wir hier heute machen, sag es mir. And of course, speaking English is to be avoided at all times. Miss, how do you say? Das ist oh, oh, oh! Zwei, oh, oh! Das geht doch nicht! Alex has English gesprochen! Shame, dick, Alex, stay out! Correct, but I should have said this is correct. Come on, Asma. Asilas. Be perfect. Be champ. Be fair. Be bell plage. Be bell plage. Pretty good. And what do points make? Good language learners. Finally, let's visit a year eight music class before the end of lesson two and the start of morning break. Welcome to music. This is year eight and they are currently learning blues and to do that they are using our five rock band pods where they can all play in silence and they can really enjoy themselves. But before break starts, let's hear from two teachers who pupils and parents will want to meet next year if Broughton is your choice of high school. Hello, my name is Mrs Boardman and if you come to Broughton in 12 months time, I will be progress leader for year 7. My job with a team of tutors is to make sure that you settle in incredibly well to Broughton and have a fantastic time making the most of every opportunity that you're given here. I'm Mrs Gladhill and I'm Senko at Broughton, so I make sure all of the teachers have all the information they need about people, any additional needs they might have, so they can get the correct support. In normal times, morning break for everyone runs from 11 till 11.20, a chance to refresh the energy levels before two more morning lessons. At the moment, of course, break times are staggered to minimise contacts. Here we are sitting outside in the sunshine at Broughton. Tell me what the food's like at breaks and at lunch times here. The food is delicious. There's a different variety with different flavours. And what's your favourite? The curry. What have you had today so far for the break? Toast. Toast, lovely. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? So it's good food? Yeah. Thank you. It's 11.20. 
and on the way to lesson three we pass pupil reception which is where all pupils can call at any time for help and advice. Let's start lesson three with a year eight library reading class. Can we remember what kinds of books we have in the library, the two main kinds of books we have in the library? Fiction. Excellent. Can we remember where the fiction books are? Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's right. We'll read that part. And the non-fiction? We'll read that part. So if you wanted to find something in languages, you look, you see it's in the 400s. You start at zero, zero here, and you go all the way around to 999 over here. Do you enjoy reading? Very much. By now it's about midday. Time to go and visit Year 7 PE on a glorious sunny day. It's 12.20 and the start of lesson four. We visit the technology department with the year eight classes to see each of their four areas of curriculum. In year seven, you will study four different areas in design technology with four different specialist teachers. This is our project design class where we are going to design and manufacture a laser cutter nightlight. The design technology department is exceptionally well resourced and has some amazing high tech equipment that you get the opportunity to use. In 3D materials, you learn how to use the computer-aided design software and get to use the state-of-the-art 3D printers. We don't leave it down there. Team five, four. Okay, so. Let me place this here. Like I said, I might nudge it now and again to keep it straight up a bit. Oh, bags. Move those bags out of the way. One of the rules is if there's no real restriction about where you can control this or where you can program this to go, but if someone stuffs in the way, just ask nicely and move it nicely. Oh my Hi, what are you designing? Uh, I'm designing tie-dye shorts for my textiles class. Tie-dye? Explain tie-dye to me, what happens there? Uh, it's where you get ink and you scrunch up the material and add elastic bands and then you put the ink on and then it soaks into it. And it makes a, a unique pattern? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's excellent. So, can I place an order? Okay. Before the end of lesson four and the start of lunch, there is time to visit one more class, Year 8 Drama. <laughs> food, glorious food, there's nothing quite like it. In non-pandemic times, lunchtime at Broughton is not staggered as it is now, but runs for everyone from 1.20 to 2.05. Broughton has two dining rooms and seven food outlets, including an outdoor kiosk, all of which serve a wide range of tasty and healthy food. Let's ask for a customer opinion. How do you rate the food here at Broughton? I, I'd rate, it's, rate, it's really good, I'd rate it a 10. They, they add different types of food every day to the menu. So there's variety? Yeah, there's a bit, there's variety there. Okay, what's your favourite? I'd say jacket potato. Jacket potato, what do you have today in jacket potato? Cheese and beans. Okay. 
Before the final lesson of the day, we should meet some people who have lived through the experience of starting at Broughton High School and survived it. First of all, our head boy and head girl. Hi, I'm Sam and I'm this year's head boy. And I'm Jenna and I'm this year's head girl. We're going to talk about our experience in Broughton in Year 7. At the start of Year 7, I was quite apprehensive about school life, <laughs> moving from a smaller primary school to a large high school, but quickly I realised that that wouldn't be an issue. Through the kind teachers and older pupils that showed me where to go, I soon realised that life at Broughton would be great. And the extracurricular activities helped a lot, like football, cricket and table tennis. In Year 7, I was quite a shy person and very nervous about the transition between Year 6 and Year 7, but it's incredibly exciting once you get to Broughton. And I think Broughton doesn't just focus on your academic achievements, but it also helps you grow as a person and you become a lot more confident talking to older students who are, aren't as scary as they look. Um, so yeah, it's so exciting and there's nothing to worry about. My name is Hannah and I'm a new year seven at Broughton. I came from a small primary school where there are only a few pupils. We only had a few teachers. The thought of coming to Broughton was exciting but also scary. But since I've been here, the teachers have been wonderful. I have enjoyed coming to Broughton. I am getting used to the amount of homework and work. I have enjoyed playing with my friends. I think that Broughton is an amazing school. At five past two, it's lesson five, the final period of the day. A year 10 business class at the start of GCSE courses is looking at the basics of personal speaking presentation skills. So what I thought we would do today is each of you will come out and just introduce your presentation. I would like you to practice standing, okay, properly at the front and then looking either at your audience if you are brave enough to do that or just at the back if you're a bit nervous, okay, but look up rather than down and then we'll give you some feedback. My name is Aisha and I'm doing a PowerPoint about 14 things you didn't, 14 places you didn't know existed. Okay, what do we think there? Is that a pass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a pass. Oh, a bit of a stumble. Okay, a bit of a stumble. Now that's fine because that happens sometimes and you forget. That's my challenge to you this time, okay? It's a lot between the three and I know that's a big deal, Ben. Okay, let's see if you can do it. Keep your hands still at the same time, okay? My name's Ben and I'm doing a presentation about the 15 wheel of the Fabulous, you did that really great, well done. At the same time, a Year 9 IT class is learning about how websites use cookies to gather our information and to influence our shopping options. Whenever you go on a website, like you go on Amazon, you might have looked at tents, uh, you might have looked at dog toys, fitness trackers. Now, that website, even though you might not have registered with it, they can draw conclusions about you, what kind of person you are. And then they use that information to target you with specific information. So, for example, they might say, okay, this person is obviously an animal lover, okay? So, because they're an animal lover, let's give them, uh, let's, uh, next time they log on to the site, on the front page, we'll present other offers of other animal products. The sleeping bag around the campfire is nice. said um, a leash, I think. A dog collar. Dog collar, yeah. Um, move. And then shoes, tennis racket, and a ball. So that's what would be advertised to her on the website when she logged on next time. Yeah. yeah. So here we are, five past three. You must all be exhausted. We really hope that you've enjoyed your day at Broughton High School. We're happy to have been able to take you into our lessons to see at first hand some of the great learning that goes on. So at five past three, the exodus home begins. But we'll all be back in the morning to do it all over again. See you soon.